Welcome back to another AHT Cloud training series. Today I will show you how to use the Windows command prompt. We will cover the basics and some useful commands. To open the command prompt, we're going to click on Windows Start. From here, we're going to uh, search for CMD and click on the command prompt app. Now, when you first open your command prompt, you're going to be inside your main user, which is the one that you're logged in as, uh, main folder. So let's say you want to go to your downloads folder. Simply you write CD, downloads. Now let's go back to our main folder. So we are back inside our main folder. Now, to clear your command prompt screen and clean it up, we write CLS. Now, notice here, right now, we are inside our C drive, inside our users folder, and our user is hello world. In the command prompt, if you want to go back to your home folder, you just type CD and backslash. So right now, we are inside our C drive. Let's display what's uh, currently inside there. We use the IR. And let's say, for example, we want to go inside the program files folder. Now notice here, there is a space. So we write CD and we surround in quotations our folder name. So program files x86 and we close the quotations. Now, let's say we want to go from our C drive program files folder into our other program files. So we are in the x86 one. So we write CD and again, we surround it in quotations. C and uh, program files. Right now on my computer, I have three hard drives, C, D, and E. Uh, this is a USB stick. Now, let's say, for example, you want to go inside your E drive. So, right now in the command prompt, we are inside our C drive. You can see here on the left, C. So, we simply write just the drive name and colon. So, E. Now, we are inside our E drive. Let's uh, see what's inside there. And right now, there is nothing inside our, our E drive. Let's create a new text file inside our E drive. So we simply just write uh, notepad and the file name. So I'm going to add spaces. So I'm going to use quotation marks. And let's call the file testexample.txt. Now in here, we want to click yes to create the file and let's add some of our work, save it and let's close it. So see here, we created our file. Now, let us create a new folder and we're going to move our text file into the new folder. So to create a new folder, we write mkdir as in make directory and let's call ours test. Now, we can see here that uh, we have our directory created. Now, to move our text file, we're going to write move, then in quotations, our file name, so text example.txt, and we're going to write, uh, so we're going to move it to inside our test folder, and let's call it text example.txt now let's go inside our test folder now let's say you want to open in file explorer your current uh, directory so to do that you write start and the location so we're going to write period because we are opening our current location so see we are inside our test folder
Now, I'm sure you guys all know what a task manager is. If not, usually uh, we can use the task manager to uh, end tasks. So sometimes you have a laggy program or something that crashed and you want to force uh, end it. So you would use something like a task manager. We can do the same thing faster on the command prompt. So let me show you guys. So let's say, for example, I want to close notepad. So we write task list. And in here, you could see all your run, running tasks. So we want to terminate notepad. So let me show you. Let's open notepad here and let's uh, clear the screen. So let's see LS. All right. So we write task kill and we want to write forward slash im and notepad.exe. So now let's open notepad again. And this time, let's add some work here. So note, if you try to use the same command, task kill im notepad.exe, it's not going to work because uh, you're going to have to either save it or not. Like, uh, So if you want to force quit this program, you just use the if flag. And here you go. You force terminated the program. Now, let's say, for example, I open notepad as an administrator. And let's click yes. So in here, if I try to force terminate it, it's not going to work because uh, obviously it's uh, the access for this program is admin. So we're going to have to open the terminal. So CMD as an administrator. And click yes. So now let's uh, do task kill forward slash f to force it and forward slash im notepad dot exe and while we're at it let's uh, close the task manager so so i'm going to run task list and let's try to find the task manager it's right here so we do task kill and uh, let's copy this forward slash I am. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below.